welcome back in this video i will discuss how to apply divisive clustering algorithm to the given data set and form the clusters this is the solved example number 2 link for other example is given in the description below in this case we have been given a data set with the five data points and the distance matrix is given in the table given this data set we need to apply the divisive analysis clustering algorithm to form the clusters in the first step of divisive clustering algorithm we will consider all data points as one cluster and we will name it as cl in the second step we will assign cl to ci it means ci contains all the data points and this is the first cluster and cj is equal to null the meaning of this one is cj is the second cluster containing no data points in the third step we will call it as initial iteration in the first case what we do is we calculate the average dissimilarity of the objects in ci with the other objects in ci that means for each of these objects we need to calculate the average dissimilarities first i will discuss how to calculate the average dissimilarity of a average dissimilarity of a is nothing but we need to calculate the average distance of a to all other data points in this case there are four possibilities are there that is distance from a to b distance from a to c distance from a to d and distance from a to e here because there are four possibilities we have to take one divided by four of this value now i will put the values here you can see the first one is distance from a to b the distance from a to b is equal to 1 in this case distance from a to c is equal to 2 similarly i will put all the values and once i simplify i will get 2 as the average dissimilarity of a in this case now we will calculate the average dissimilarity of b that is nothing but distance from b to a plus distance from b to c b to d and b to e divided by 4 in this case because there are four distances are there once you put all the values and simplify you will get 2.5 as the average dissimilarity for b in this case similarly we will calculate the average dissimilarity of c that is uh, 2.5 dissimilarity of uh, d that is equal to 2.5 and the average dissimilarity of data point e which is equal to 3.5 here now if you compare the average dissimilarity of all five data points average dissimilarity of e is more compared to all other data points which means we will move this e to the cluster cj previously cluster cj contains no data points once you move this data point e to cj we will get two clusters one cluster containing the data points a b c d and another cluster containing the data point e in this case in the third step only now we need to see is there any possibility to move any of these data points that is a b c d to cj that can be done in the remaining iterations so to check whether is there any possibility to move any of these data points to cj what we do is we calculate the distance of each object x in ci now the question is how to calculate the distance of each object in ci that can be calculated using this formula that is average dissimilarity of x with objects in ci that means if you consider a we need to calculate the average dissimilarity of a within this cluster minus dissimilarity of x with cj that is we have considered a so what is the dissimilarity of a with respect to the objects in cj that means there is uh, only one possibility in this case that is a to e in this case if we have more than one data points we have to take the average dissimilarity in that case so i will discuss how to calculate the average dissimilarity of a that is uh, da which is equal to i have considered a as a data point so i will uh, calculate the average dissimilarity in this case that is a to b a to c a to d that is what we can see here because there are b distances are there we have to take divided by 3 minus this similarity of a with the objects in other cluster that is cj that means distance from a to e 
distance from A to E is 3 in this case. So, once you solve this equation, we will get minus 1.33 as the average dissimilarity of A. Next, we will calculate the average dissimilarity of B, C and D with the same procedure. Average dissimilarity of B is equal to minus 0.67, C is minus 3.33 and D is minus 0.67. Now, if you compare the average dissimilarity of all these four data points, all of them are less than 0. The meaning of this one is none of these objects are moved to CJ here. So, we will finalize this split. The first cluster containing the objects A, B, C, D and the second cluster contains the only object E in this case. Next, what we do is uh, we will try to divide these clusters into further clusters here. It is not possible to divide CJ as it contains only one uh, data point, but it is possible to divide CI because it contains more than one data point here. Hence, what we do is we will assign CI to CL. Now, the CI that is the initial cluster will become A, B, C, D here. Again, we will start from the first step. CL is equal to A, B, C, D. We will assign CL to CI. That means CI is the first cluster containing the all four data points and CJ the other cluster containing no data points. In the third step, again, we will start with the initial iteration. Here, we need to compute the average dissimilarity of each data point with other data points in the same group. So, we will calculate the average dissimilarity of A. Average dissimilarity of A is nothing but distance from A to B, A to C, A to D divided by 3, which is equal to 1.67. Similarly, we will calculate the average dissimilarity of D, which is equal to 2.33, C is 1.67 and D is 2.33 here. Once you compare the average dissimilarities, the dissimilarity of B and D are more we have to select any one of these data point and we need to move it to CJ here. So, randomly I will choose B as the data point and then I will put it into CJ. So, once you move B to CJ, we will get two clusters CI and CJ. CI contains ACD and CJ contains B here. Now, we need to check is there any possibility to move any of these data points to CJ here. So, what we do is Again, uh, we use the same technique we have done in the previous iterations. Like we will calculate the distance of each of these data points in CI and then we will check is it possible to move to CJ. We will use the same formula that is average dissimilarity of X with objects in CI minus dissimilarity of X with CJ. So, dissimilarity of A is equal to the distance from A to C, A to D divided by 2 minus distance from A to B. That is what I have written here. Now, once you put all these values from this table, we will get the DA is equal to 1.0. Similarly, we will calculate the dissimilarity of C. That is nothing but the distance from C to A, C to D divided by 2 minus the distance from C to D here, which is equal to minus 0 0.5. Similarly, we will calculate the dissimilarity of B, which is equal to minus 2.5 here. Now, once you compare all these dissimilarities, the dissimilarity of A is more. So, what we do is we will move the object A to CJ. After moving object A to CJ, we will get CI containing two data points C and D and CJ contains two data points B, A. So, we got three clusters. One cluster contains CD, second cluster contains B, A and the third cluster contains E which is already done in the previous iterations. Now, we will try to divide these clusters. If we divide these clusters, we will get C and D because there are only two data points. We will get one cluster as C, another cluster as D. If we divide this one, we will get the two clusters, one containing B, another containing A here. So, totally we will get five clusters in that case. So, we will finalize here. The first cluster contains B, A, second one cluster contains C, D and the third one is E. If we divide further, you will get B and A and C and D as the few more clusters in this case. So, finally, we will draw the dendrogram. Uh, we can merge a BA to get a one cluster here. We can merge CD to get another cluster. We can merge BA and CD to get another cluster. And finally, we can merge A, B, C, D with A. We will get the final cluster over here. So, if you are interested in only two clusters, 
we can divide it here, which means we will get one cluster as E, another cluster as A, B, C, D. If you are interested in three clusters, we can divide it here. You will get A, B as the one cluster, C, D as the second cluster, and E as the third cluster. If you are interested in five clusters, you can divide it here. You will get A, B, C, D, and E as the five clusters in this case. So this is how we can apply the divisive analysis clustering algorithm to the given data set and we can divide the data into different clusters. I hope the concept of uh, divisive analysis clustering algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.